for that. The BBC in beds, hearts and bucks. This is BBC Three Counties Radio. Now, people living uh, in, uh, on Wixoms in Bedfordshire say they'll fight plans for a landfill on their doorstep. It forms part of a wider waste management facility being suggested for the old clay pits just outside Bedford. Hundreds of people have objected and will today hand in their concerns to the council. Joe Robery is from the Say No to Wixoms Landfill Group. Morning, Joe. Good morning, Ian. Uh, why are you and other residents so against this landfill? Well, we, we're very against it because uh, we feel we, we've been sold a dream of living in Wixoms. Now, Wixoms, as you know, is a, is a big development. We mm. promised lots of amenities, sports facilities, schools, uh, a health centre and, and very importantly a railway which is obviously of interest to the wider Bedfordshire community. Um, the proposals that are un- under consideration at the moment, uh, we, we feel we weren't really informed and we live, as uh, Zaina you heard earlier, mm. uh, you know, metres away from this proposed development which is actually on a, on a, a beautiful um, flooded pits which... Um, uh, anglers from all over the country come to fish because it's been there for sort of 40, 50 years. How long have you lived there? I've lived there 18 months. OK, and uh, at what point did you find out that this landfill was was under was being proposed? Well, FCC Environment, who, uh, who put the plans together, have held two public consultations, uh, one which was held um, just at the top of the A6. Uh, we found out as residents uh, just the night before their second consultation uh, that they mm. were holding... And the, the way we found that out was by one of the local residents took it off their own uh, initiative to do a mail shot around the houses. And so so the, the company didn't say, by the way, you, we, we're talking, we, we might build a landfill here, you might be interested. Um, obviously, through the normal uh, planning process, they, they put their, their yeah. plans together. However, um, it's a, a site called Elstow South, which, of course, Wick, Wixom's residents felt was... Uh, in a different location, and so if you see something in a different location, you tend not to read the detail. Yeah. Um, and so that's why we're spreading our message now, and, and you know, residents of all of Bedford, Elstow, Wilstead, Kempston, they will all be affected by this, so I'd urge them to visit our site at say no to uk, or get onto our Facebook site, say no to Wixom's Landfill. If you'd have known this landfill was going to be built there, would you have moved to Wixom's? Well... Probably not. Mm. Um, the reason being, we feel there are a number of questions that FCC have not answered. Um, we, this is not an objection, this is not a nimbyism. Uh, we understand that you know we have to deal with waste. We're questioning the mineral waste and core strategy that Bedford have put together. We don't believe there is a need for another landfill in Bedford. Nadine Doris, our MP, has also said, said as such, we, we seem to be a dumping ground for all of Britain. I, w- I would probably have... Um, I'd love to live in Wixoms, and I do love living in Wixoms because of all the amenities that we've been promised, and it's a fantastic scheme, mm. and that's why Gallagher's the major developer are on board with our protest as well. Uh, you've got your websites you've just mentioned. What else are you doing? What's, well, how is the protest taking shape? Well, today, I think you mentioned, we're handing in um, our technical objection, which is, uh, I think it's about a 20-page document, uh, to Central Beds, who are... Um, looking at the mineral uh, waste and core strategy, they're, they're coordinating it for Bedford Borough Council, which is what we come under. Um, we're gaining some momentum. We've got um, nearly 600 formal objections, uh, which is which is a really good amount. Um, we're also thinking about the future. Um, th- there are several barriers to this uh, process going through. The first is the mineral strategy, which if that's get rejected, the whole idea of this landfill becomes obsolete. Mm. Um, if that gets approved by Bedford Borough Council then the real, start, the real fight starts. What's the time scale for this? How, how, how quickly are things moving in terms of their, their plans going through? Um, it's, uh, there's consultation between Gallagher's, FCC, Borough Council, all the local stakeholders, which is ongoing over the next couple of weeks. Uh, the Minerals and Waste Core Strategy, which is a, is a bit of a mouthful, so you'll have to forgive me, mm. that is uh, for review, I think, in February... If that goes through, the planning application will then be heard and it could be anything beyond April. But this whole process could go on until October before we really know where we stand with it. If, if the landfill and the waste management facility goes ahead, what impact will that have on Wixoms, do you think? Well, the, the biggest impact will be um, uh, house developers will not wish to build there. We've already seen a few people pull out of, of homes because of the... the Fury we've made regarding this. Now, if that happens, Gallagher's won't be able to uh, attract house mm. builders to the site. Um, that will mean that uh, independent providers won't want to p- 
put facilities in. There'll be no no need for the schools there. Network Rail have lodged a very good complaint, which um, they've suggested that if the village doesn't grow, because the area that is not built is is between the existing village and the railway line, so if that area doesn't grow, Network Rail, there's a good chance they won't build that station, which of course will affect the affect the wider Bedford community. Are people going to move out? Do you think if if, if they're not happy? I, I don't I don't think people will move out because we're a really tight knit community, and you know we've. We've gone from a standing start to a to a really great campaign, and you know we're here at BBC Towers now discussing it. We've got the local press on board, and uh, as I say, Nadine Doris is coming down mm. later on. Um, and we, we, you know, we're really passionate about the Wixom's ideal, so we want it. We really want to make it work, which is why we've seen so much um, protest against us. Do you think you stand a chance? Six hundred protesters. It, it, it's a lot, but is that going to be enough? Do you think? Yeah, we we absolutely stand a chance. We absolutely stand a chance. We want to beat this thing at, at every opportunity we get. Now, we we might be able to beat it in the next two weeks. If we don't, we've got a lot of objection and protest mm. to fall back on. But it it really needs people from from Wixom's, Elstow, Kemp and Wilstead to get online, lodge their complaint, kick up a stink, let let the MPs know, let the council know, and, and we don't want to take this line down. And, of course, the other thing is residents of Elstow, they, they, they had the landfill at Elstow North for all those, year, all those years, and they're thinking, why should, why should we have another one? Uh, Joe, listen, we'll be following this very closely and no doubt we'll be speaking again. Thank you very much for coming in. That's Thank Joe Rowry from the Say No to Wixom's Landfill Group. Call 08459 